Good day everyone! I am Midshipman Padrid, John Christopher Y from BSM TNM 6B2. So for this video, I will discuss to you and demonstrate to you as well the changing of uh, vessel's stability condition when adding or removing the cargo from the respective vessel. So let's take a look at it. So this is the example of our vessel. So this is a miniature. So when I add the cargo from the forward part, so for example, uh, this uh, cargo, when I put there, so the vessel will, it will incline on port, uh, port part of the vessel, which is inclined pores, meaning trimmed by the head. So in this top airware, okay, I will put water inside. Then, if I put the water on the port side of the vessel, so what will happen? So here. So, the trimming moment of vessel is on the inclined process of forward part. Okay, so as we get that, I make a uh, problem solving to distinguish the stability condition of the vessel. Okay. So here, uh, uh, so here we have the uh, problem uh, solving uh, to be solved uh, to get the condition of the vessel if, if it is uh, trimmed by the head or generating uh, a stern. So here, a ship 90 meter long is floating at drops 4.5 meter forward and 5.0 meter after station. So, uh, the, our COF or what we call the center of flotation is 1.5 meter up of Ahmed ships. And our TPC or what we call the tons per centimeter is 10 tons. So, our MCT or the uh, moment in uh, change in trim is equals to 1 centimeter. Uh, when convert in meter would be 120 tons. Okay. Now, find the new drop if a total weight of 450 tons is loaded in a position uh, if a position 14 meter forward amid ships. So as you can see on the uh, structure of the vessel so we have the L or the LBP length between perpendicular 90 meter. So we have the uh, after, after perpendicular with a drop of 5 meter we have the forward perpendicular with a drop of 4.5 meter. So, now, our center of flotation is 1.5 meter here. And our amid ship is located there. Okay. So, the distance between the up and the amid ship is 45 meter. Okay. Now, the center, uh, the center of flotation, okay, here, the center of flotation from the up is measured by 43.5 meter. So how will how will get the 43.5 meter? So 45 meter subtracted to 1.5 meter is equals to 43.5 meter. Okay. So now let's find the drop if a total displacement of 450 tons, okay, is loaded in a position within the 14 meter forward amid ship. Okay. So now, let's proceed and find the uh, parallel sink age and trimming moment of the said vessel. So, as you can see here, here's the uh, formula to find the parallel sink age. So, parallel sink age or PS is equals to net load, the total weight, which is the 450 tons, over our TPC. So, tons per centimeter is 10. So, 450 tons divided by 10 centimeter, it would be 4 centimeter. Then uh, convert it into meter or substitute it, so it would be 0 0.5 meter. So, uh, in the previous discussion earlier, so when the uh, vessel, so when the cargo is shifting from the center of flotation to the forward part, so let's find the trimming moment. So, here, take moment about center of flotation. So, 450 times 15.5. So, how we can get the 
15.5 so the uh, 14 meter behind the amid ship and also the 1.5 which is the center of flotation so uh, 14 plus 1.5 it would be 15.5 so 450 times 15.5 is equals to 6,975 by head so meaning the trimming moment is uh, generating trim by the head of the vessel so when adding the cargo from the forward part of the vessel so change of trim so moment get the moment 6,975 divided by the MCTC so the MCTC this is the moment change in trim uh, in tons yeah, in tons 1 centimeter so 6,975 divided by 120 is equals to 58.125 then when you are substitute 0 0.5812 so now let's proceed on the table and jot down this following values so here's the last part which is the table for the condition of stability so we have the all drop so in up station we have 5 meter in forward part we have the 4.5 meter so our parallel sink age or ps is 0 0.45 on up and also 0 0.45 on forward so change of drops due to trim so negative 0 0.2805 on up and also positive on forward which is 0 0.3003 so we get that on the y-axis on uh, y-axis of the vessel's condition earlier so as we get uh, these three values from old drop to the change of drops due to trim so let's add so 5 plus 0 0.45 minus 0 0.2805 it would be 5.169 meter so same true uh, with the uh, forward part 4.5 plus 0 0.45 plus the y-axis 0 0.3003 is equals to 5.2503 2503 okay so now the vessel is generating trim by the head condition so okay generating by uh, down by the head so uh, i hope that uh, you learned something new from me and uh, share this with your uh, colleagues to understand what i discussed earlier so thank you so much for watching this video uh, colleagues to understand what i discussed earlier so thank you so much for watching this video